Oh, sorry, that was what you were asking me about yeah, the task force. Deputy Tommy Bruin now for the next question. Yeah, no, we're aware of the task force. Yeah, th thanks, Les. Can Tommy Bruin? Yeah, just in relation to, uh, I think, a recent uh, uh, PQ reply, Minister, uh, earlier in the week, you, you confirmed that six private organisations, John uh, Pal, Shine, Hope, Aurora and ICE, received between, I think, 2.2 million in the case of Johnix and 0 0.054 million uh, for the 2013-2014 uh, uh, term. Uh, they provide preschool education to, obviously, to young children with autism. And I understand that the, the, this funding comes from the home tuition scheme uh, payments. So I'd like to just know, what's the current status of these pr uh, private organisations? Have you carried out any review on their effectiveness? And how are decisions reached regarding allocation of contracts and funding in each of these cases? As you know, Minister, uh, probably uh, I've asked yourself and your predecessor uh, this question on numerous occasions, uh, going back throughout the history of this doll. Thank you. Um, uh, without a satisfactory answer, you, you sent me a detailed answer, but I think uh, in written form there recently, but uh, it, leaves, it begs a lot of questions. Thank you, uh, thanks, Minister. Jan. Uh, yeah, thanks, Deputy Bruin. Where parents of children who are eligible for home tuition have sought alternative arrangements to be put in place for the tuition, my department has responded by putting arrangements in place with six private preschool providers which provide group tuition to children in a class type setting. Each of these providers was selected by the parents. My department will consider similar arrangements with other private providers should parents of eligible children request this. In recognition of the demand for group arrangements by parents of children who are eligible for home tuition under the scheme, my department now advises all such parents of the option to enter into a group arrangement with other parents of children for whom home tuition has been sanctioned. Parents wishing to enter into such an arrangement must notify my department in advance for approval. The arrangements must conform to the general terms of the scheme. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Brown, just one supplementary remaining. Yeah, uh, thanks, uh, um, uh, Laskan. Yeah, well, just to ask again, Minister, um, uh, like, what, how, how are decisions made regarding the allocation of those contracts and, and funding? Uh, as I said, I, I've, um, I've previously asked you in relation to uh, the, uh, the terms and condition uh, placed on uh, tendering uh, on service providers and how the uh, tendering uh, process operates. Uh, for example, uh, there's a contract I think you, you mentioned in your uh, lengthy written reply to me given to Jonix in 2008, and. Uh, other, there were other organisations providing similar services, uh, um, and, um, uh, but uh, apparently they, you know, no contracts were, were made with them. Uh, you also say that the, the, uh, in your reply of the 4th of June last that the department has no contract with the preschool providers. It's essentially, as you reiterate today, between the parents and the relevant provider. Uh, but um, how can it be the case, uh, Minister, that you paid over 3.2 million to service providers who must adhere to certain conditions to qualify, yet you say you have no contract with them. And just to ask you finally, um, what's the delay in publishing the National Council for Special Education, the policy report, which is recommended by the Ombudsman Thank for you, Children? Minister, Thanks, Les Can. Um, well, just uh, to clarify again that we don't have any contracts. I mean, this is, it's essentially the parents who choose the provider and uh, the arrangement then is made between the parents or the group of parents and the provider. And um, the, the particular ones, um, they were one, set, one organisation was agreed back in 2008 and the rate was calculated on the basis of a collective rate for each group of six children for whom the department pays a sum equivalent to 48 hours calculated at the primary qualified rate and 72 two hours calculated at the unqualified rate. So there is, there is a procedure that's there generally for home tuition which is used, I suppose, to, um, in relation to these groups. Uh, and that's the arrangement that, that has been there for some time and uh, is continuing under, the, um, under this scheme. Uh, so the department doesn't have, uh, doesn't have a direct relationship. And you, you asked me something there at the end around which... Special education? Um, well, we're doing, I mean, there have been recommendations in relation to special education and uh, changing to a new model. I'm not sure if that's the, that's the space you're in. Uh, and um, we have decided that we don't have enough information, particularly in relation to complex needs, to introduce the new model in September, but we will be introducing pilot pilots of the model in September and um, I did announce uh, some variation particularly with regard to children with Down syndrome uh, in relation to particular hours for them um, but the actual uh, full new model won't be introduced for the next school year. Thank you Minister. That concludes question time. We now go on to the next item.